Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about Loot Sheet 5e NPC module. This module is used to add in treasure chests, merchants, book stands or bookshelves, basically anything that you want your players to interact with that would have items on the sheet itself. Let's go ahead and get started by talking about the scene. So on the scene I have a treasure chest, a merchant, and a book stand. Morthos, the halfling barbarian, is going to walk around the scene, loot everything off of the treasure chest, buy some things from the merchant, and then go over to the book stand and grab a book. Let's switch to the player view so you can see how that plays out. So Morthos will step forward and interact with the chest. And then a character sheet pops open, and we can see everything that is inside of this chest. Some armor, an antitoxin, an alchemist fire, a spell scroll, and then 10,000 gold pieces, 2,000 electrum, 50 silver, and 25 copper. Now, Morthos is the only character and the only player so it says split one ways here. However, if there were more players, it would go up to split two, split three, split four, and so on. But right now, Morthos is going to take everything. All of the equipment, all of the weapons, all of the consumables, and the gold is now in his character sheet in Morthos's pockets. Let's take a look at that. So we can see everything that was looted here, the armor of invulnerability, the antitoxin, the alchemist fire, as well as the 10,000 gold, 2,000 electrum, 50 silver, and 25 copper. Now Morthos is gonna move forward and walk around the corner and interact with the merchant to spend some of the gold that he just looted from the chest. Looking at the, at the merchant's sheet, we can see there is a battle ax, arena protection, and so on. However, there are no options to loot from the merchant. You cannot kill the merchant and steal all of their things. You can, however, buy from them by clicking the icon right here. And when an object or anything is purchased from a merchant, the gold will be deducted from that character sheet. So I've spent so far 1,000. Let's spend 8,300 more. And then let's take a look. We can see. I have spent through, I've gone through pretty much all of my gold, all of the gold that I recently gained. However, some of it was turned into platinum for me. So, we can move on from that point and go to our final spot. And that is the book stand in the top of the map. So the book stand I created functions in a very similar way to the treasure chest. That is, when I click it, I can look and see what is available here. I can observe the book and then I can also take the book for myself if I want to by clicking loot item. Now what I think is very functional about this is with the descriptions on items you could add in images, you can add in text. So you could have it function as though the player is observing what is on the book stand right from this sheet itself. And then they can of course take it and put it into their inventory for later use back over to the GM view so we can take a look at how things are set up. The first thing you need to do is you do need to create a new actor and that actor needs to be an NPC. Now if you want to change the statistics of the NPC before switching over to this sheet you can. For example if I wanted to have the AC of this treasure chest be 20 I can and then the statistics are still there but they're just hidden behind the scene. So let's go back to the loot sheet and looking at this, it's fairly straightforward. The only things I want to mention is you do need to change the sheet to be either loot or merchant right over here. And the permissions need to be set accordingly as well. For example, I have it as permissions owner can access and items and share coins. You want to have it like this if it is a treasure chest or a book stand. Presumably you want to have it like this for a book stand. But we'll take a look at how it needs to be set up if it is a merchant. You can adjust the platinum, gold, electrum, silver, and copper all up here, and you can drag in items right onto the chest itself. Let's take a look at the merchant next. Function in a very similar way, however, you do need to make sure you have selected the correct sheet as well as the correct permissions. What is very useful about the compendium, or at least a number of the items in the compendium, is that they already have prices set for them. Some items you'll find that they don't have prices, in which case you'll have to set it yourself, but it makes things easy if they are already there for you. You can also easily adjust the price. Say I want to increase it by 200%. 
and we can see everything quickly changes. And again, all of this interacts very quickly with the character sheet with the currency that they have on hand. All right, that is pretty much where I'm going to end it. There's not too much to go over with this module. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'm happy to help out. Thanks, everyone.